Darren, ends in defeat at Broadwood Stadium. What were your assessment of the match as a whole? I think it was a fair result of the game. Um, there wasn't loads of chances in the game. I think both teams struggled to really show quality and um, that created opportunities. We got into areas and wide areas in particular and kind of flashed a few things across the goal, but other than that, nowhere near the, the level of amount of chances we'd want to create and with the uh, I'm sorry, of the quality of chance we'd want to create. Um, and we looked we looked tame defending, but the the issue or say issue is the reason for it is we've got a group that are sampling this for the first time and have been through it uh, two years ago when we first came into the league with a new group. It, it kind of it's a different style of football and it takes time to adapt um, and especially when you've that many young players they're all doing it together they're nearly looking to each other for a little bit of help but they're all just trying to survive themselves so that's obviously a big onus then on us as the staff to, to support them they'll suffer at times this year but that's going to be a a really, really important part of the development. Um, I've spoken before about it. Young Celtic players are used to winning uh, a lot of games from the ages of 10 to, to 16 to 17. This is now real football, competitive men's football. So, um, as I said, you've got a lot of 16, 17 year olds that, that had to struggle today and fight through it. And the kind of positives we see out of it, you see that which ones will, will just stick at it and stick at the principles that we want to have, um, no matter what the scoreline is. With it being such a young group, what sort of positives can you take from that? And is it about improving on them as the weeks go on with each game? Yeah, so if we had a 1 1 0 today, I wouldn't be standing here saying it was brilliant. Um, our performance was poor. The standard and the bar we want to set, we, we didn't reach as a group um, in terms of in possession and out of possession. We were, we were, we were better out of possession um, than we have been. Um, I think that's naturally has happened because the players have got fitter. Um, so that's maybe a plus win possession. We were nowhere near the level we want to be at. Uh, so regardless of, of results going this season, we'll always judge the players off performance. Um, so there's loads they can learn from it. Uh, they will learn from it. And the key is now, hopefully in the next game, they're, they're better for it. As a quick turnaround with the next game on Tuesday against Caledon and Braves, how important is that to get used to that schedule and also try and bounce back from today? Yes, it, it, it's going to be difficult again. It's something they're they're going to experience probably for the first time. Um, but listen, if we wanted if we wanted to cruise and we wanted an easy ride and we wanted things to be simple for the players, we wouldn't be here um, and we wouldn't be putting players at that age into this level. But the fact that matters, we know how difficult it is to become a Celtic player and the challenges you need to face and the adversity you need to face. So these are little snippets that they're getting now. Um, and then obviously the robustness you need to have to play every three days whilst maybe coming back off the back of poor performances or, or defeat. So um, it mightn't feel great for them now, but it's, it's learning. And uh, that's exactly what this year will be for a lot of them is, is a hell of a lot of learning and experience and they'll be fine.